What happened to Jerry's Subs and Pizza, and why is it spiraling into the abyss? The store went from being a rising brand to having just around three to six stores, and it doesn't look like the brand will be returning. This is the sad story of Jerry's Subs and Pizza. When Jerry Subs and Pizza began, it had a reputation for having a quirky business owner. The owner was a shy man, but he faced his shyness even if the result was funny. Max, the original owner known for doing radio commercials for his business, ended with hello. His advertisement pattern became a business gimmick and was fun while it lasted. But the founder realized he couldn't face the camera when TVs became a thing. But he had to, so he could advertise his business. So what to do? Eventually, Max found a solution and went on TV for his ad. However, what the audience saw was his back. Max turned his back to the camera rather than face the camera for his advertisement. This wasn't a one-off thing. In all the ads that Max did, he did the same thing. Back to the camera. No wonder Max's wax figure made it into Madame Tussauds in Washington, D.C. for display in 2010. The man had become quite the local celebrity. As a business thrived on advertisement, the company used the unveiling to advertise special discount offers. The brand used the opportunity to deepen its reputation as the place for the world-famous cheesesteaks and authentic New York-style pizza. At the time, the brand reportedly had 100 locations in Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., Delaware, and West Virginia. So how did the brand go from having 100 stores in 2010 to now struggling to keep six a few years later. And if you like to learn about the history of your favorite eateries, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Max founded Jerry Subs and Pizza in 1954 and named the business after his son, Jerry. Max founded the company outside of Washington, D.C. at a university in Wheaton, Maryland. The company started with a unique idea that Max was sure would turn into a profit. During this period, Americans were crazy for subs and pizza. The hype for subs became so intense that people traveled across cities to eat subs. When Jersey Mike's began operations, the company became crucial to many people's vacation experiences. If they hadn't eaten at Mike's, then the vacation wasn't complete. At that time, the most common fast food option was hamburgers. Subs were exotic alternatives that not many businesses had caught on to. On the other hand, pizzas too were uncommon. It was prominent around immigrant dominated places. So when shops began to offer it, people went absolutely nuts. So Jerry's idea was to combine the two things people loved subs, and pizza. The idea was a masterpiece. The company recorded great popularity with people with its simple menu of overstuffed submarine sandwiches and New York style pizza. Then later on, it added cheesesteaks. The business prides itself on the fact that it can provide customers with tasty offerings. However, in 1980, the company decided to franchise. The following year, the business decided to experiment with its contemporary casual stores, which are its version of fast casual. The company began to work on its improved contemporary casual stores and called it the Ultra 2. However, these improvements weren't enough and didn't come often. The company failed to evolve with the competition and they slowly consumed it and reduced a once thriving franchise to near ashes. Black Street Capital Management recently bought the rights to the three company-owned Jerry's. It also purchased the rights to royalty fees from about 65 others in West Virginia, Maryland, Virginia, and Delaware. Black Street bought the business owing to its performance in the market at the time. However, the company hasn't lived up to expectations and has continued to dwindle more and more. Jerry's Subs and Pizza hasn't done much memorable stuff. While it has a loyal base of customers, the business hasn't quite been able to compete with the other brands. But it's not entirely out yet. Will the company stage a comeback or will it crumble? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel.